So today we are going to paint these leaves that I created from, um, from Crayola air dry clay just to be used as little a little trinket place you know they have one of our favorite garden insects on the end and we are going to do a layered effect we will be using our folk art home decor chalk paint in vintage mustard Grotto and Irish. So I will be layering those up on the leaf itself in that order. Then, of course, for the cute little ladybug, we will use a, uh, a red chalk paint, um, black dots, and some white. So let's get started getting this leaf painted. So I have some clean water, some paint brushes, and the mustard. We are not too worried about the ladybug because the base coat of the ladybug will start out as either black or red, which is going to cover any of these colors well. So if we get a little on our ladybug, we are not too, too worried about it, are we? So, if you need to know how I made this little tray, there is a video up that you can take a look at to make a similar make a similar little tray like this if you like. When you're working with the air dry clay and the chalk paint, most of the time is spent just waiting for things to dry. So it doesn't really take long to do the actual, each process, it takes longer just to wait for the next step. Don't get impatient when you're working with clay or with chalk paint. You just need to have, you know, something to do while you wait for the next step. There we go. So see, that only took a minute. But now we have to wait. Okay, so this coat has dried thoroughly. We are going to paint a coat of grotto. And let's just get started. I've got two paint brushes here. Okay, so I think we are going to need to kind of just mix that up a little bit. With our paintbrush so that we're not wasting any of it. There we go. Set that to the side. And let's just put a coat on the back first.
So we've got a coat, an, a third coat of green on the bottom. We're going to put a third coat of green on the top. Brush is a little wet. Okay, so before we start working on our ladybug, we are going to take a little bit of water and we are just going to rub off some of this chalk paint to bring out those layers of paint and we will let that dry and then we will continue to this little guy. So let's just, I've got a little wet rag here. It's an old t-shirt, what I'm using, just an old t-shirt. And I am just going to hit, you know, these highlighted spots you know where things would normally get bumped and rubbed we're not going to do a whole lot to it we're just gonna maybe I'd like to I'd like to see that yellow come through in a couple of places and you know some of that blue so we'll just work our way around here and bring some of that bring a little bit of that color through. I don't want to do too much. see where you know we've just got that a little bit of that yellow and a little bit of that blue coming through there now let's see about bringing a little bit out on these leaves maybe just to See what kind of effect we can get. I am just lightly brushing this, just barely touching it. Hardly any amount of pressure. One thing I do wish I was doing was going more this way, so let's go this way a little bit. Let's use a, let's try using a brush and see if we can like maybe get to get more of that layer appearing in here. So, even though this is not completely dry yet, just kind of cut some of that away. There we go. 
even though this is not completely dry yet, we are going to go ahead and start painting our little ladybug. So let's do this. We are going to start by painting him. Uh, we're going to start by painting him red all over and then we will add in the black and white accents after we are finished with the red. Okay, so I have a few paint brushes to work with and a stylus. So let's just jump right in. Let's get as far down as comfortable with this bigger brush and then we will pull in a smaller brush to we're pulling a smaller brush to handle all those details. Ooh, that was almost too close. I don't know if you saw that or not, but that was that was close. So let's just put you right there. There we go. All right, let's put you in there for a moment. Let's move to a smaller brush to work with. Just a little finer spots that we need to do to complete our little ladybug. Make sure we have plenty of paint on our brush. Now why can I not get that spot right there? Yeah, we may have to get some cleared. We'll just keep going and we'll come back to that later. pretty good with that so we're going to let this guy dry for a moment for the next step we are going to add a little black face on this guy Tedious. Oh, <laughs> we've got this one little place to see if we can. Hmm. Okay, so I guess we're just going to try to make this work. Let's keep going. Okay. Oh, that's a nervous. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Okay. How's that working? Pretty good. It's okay, right? Pretty good, maybe. Okay, as you can hear, spring is here and all of the power tools are out. So hopefully that does not bother you too bad, but. Yes, there are some power tool things happening just outside the window. So let's see. Let's just see if we can make these little dots pretty, pretty perfect. I've already messed that one up. We'll just go back and fix it here in a minute. Pretty good. We're going to say we're happy with that one. Let's do that one. That one. That one. And okay, we do have one we have to fix here, so let's go back and fix that one. Let's go fix it. We'll fix it right up. Let's put that back to the back burner. 
Yeah, so let's get a little, let's get this guy again. See if we can clean him up. I'm staying in frame here. Okay. I think he's pretty good. So, now we are going to let the dots dry. We are going to use our sheepskin, our Forgot Home Decor sheepskin to create a little face for our guy. So first, let's see, do we just want to try to, let's see about making some eyes, see right here so we can see. That's a good little eye, let's use that. Okay, so first we're gonna put two little eyes on our ladybug. In. Make a little eye. Those are pretty good eyes, right? So now, I just need to get this guy back out. And we're going to put a couple of little marks down our ladybug's face on the side. Should I do it like that or should I do it like this? I think I should do it like that. So we're going to use a little side, little side swipe. Where do we want those? other side of our ladybug's face. There we go. Okay. Just open it. There we go. come together. Okay, so as soon as he dries, we are going to add a layer of wax just as a protective coating for that chalk paint. Okay, so we've applied a layer of wax to our trinket tray. 
think he looks really cute. I like the, the way that the colors, all the colors are coming through. And, but I don't want him, I want him to be bright and shiny like a little ladybug is. So let's just grab some Mod Podge gloss. And we are going to put a couple of layers of Mod Podge on him. It will go on milky white, but when it dries, it should be nice and glossy on him. So let's make let's make our little guy shine. So we are going to let that coat dry, and we will add another coat. And we will call this guy done. Anyway, I think they're cute. I think they're cute little trinket trays to set somewhere and, you know, maybe in the bathroom for guests to put their rings and things in or um, beside a bedside table. So you could take and, and you know, leave your jewelry in there as you're, uh, whenever you're visiting. Yeah, I don't know what all I might do with these guys, but we will just see if we can find them a home. Thank you so much for joining me for this project. Uh, it was a lot of fun. I, I hope that you know you will get out there and explore um, with different mediums. If you have not used the air dry clay, I would totally encourage you to embrace uh, using that medium to you know, create some things. And you don't have to have a lot of high-end tools. If you have some clay tools, that's great. But you know, you can use cookie cutters or uh, go out in nature and find some things to press into the clay. Yeah, so there are all kinds of options out there. And it's just fun to dive into something that you haven't, that you haven't really done before and, and, uh, see where it takes you so the important thing is is that you get it get in there and and do something get out there and create if you aren't already a follower on my youtube page i would love for you to follow me and hit the notification button so that you receive alerts about videos that are coming out uh, you can also find me on instagram and facebook at the practicing crafter and until next time, I hope that you get out there and, and you create something fun, make it yours, and just enjoy the process. Have a wonderful day.